This high school track runner battling cancer gets help cross the finish line by her teammates. A man by the name Leo Tazu has said that kindness in words creates confidence, kindness in thinking creates profoundness, kindness in giving creates love. Now that's a deep statement. Just know that any acts of kindness you engage in regardless of how small or how simple it might be, you are making the world a better place. And a journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. So let's perform at least one act of kindness every week and try to make this world a better place. What's going on YouTube family? My name is Chek Mbe and my purpose for creating this channel is not only to entertain you but also to hopefully inspire you to be great, encourage you to be more kind and to restore your faith in humanity. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't yet so you don't miss out the next time I upload. Comment what you think about this video in your favorite part and also please give this video a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm so more people can hopefully get a chance to see this video. And lastly, thank you all for supporting my online merchandise store. This is how I actually save up money to perform acts of kindness like paying for strangers groceries and also helping out the homeless. The link to my website will be below this video. Thank you again for the support. Sometimes we make plans in life but we should try not to get upset when things don't turn out exactly how we anticipated. We should have faith that things will work out exactly the way they supposed to. This couple plan on getting married at Vegas. Our plan was to land, head to the courthouse, grab the marriage license, and then head to the chapel. Bada bing, bada boom. Palm was ready and had her dress on. What was supposed to happen in Vegas basically happened in Dallas was because of flight cancellation. But this guy had a solution. The sweetest guy, Chris, walks up and he goes, well, I just want to let you know I'm an ordained minister and I think I can help you out. We had to even switch airports. So we get in the Uber and we tell him to floor it and he did. Now they are rerouting. And the pilot's standing there and, you know, he's like, are you guys going to Vegas to get married? Pam goes, if it doesn't happen, we're going to do it on this plane. And he's like, OK, yeah, sounds good. Next thing we know, we're in the cockpit doing wedding photos. Flight attendant immediately went to work. Toilet paper streamers, minister sashed out of snack bag, the flight attendant called button lightened the aisles. A professional photographer who was on board took the pictures and it just so happened that the ordained minister, Chris, worked in broadcasting. He had with him lapel mics and cameras and lights and tripods. Not only did he marry us, he was the wedding planner and the producer of the show. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Chris is now their friends for life. I can't wait to be your co-pilot through life. It was so fun and amazing and sweet and it, as crazy as it was, it still felt like, okay, this is what we're supposed to this do. This is a very beautiful moment of good people stepping up, offering help. Much respect to them all. Should all model after these people and try to look out for people when they need us. This little boy was speechless when he got surprised by a bunch of police officers with a gift. It's often the small acts of kindness that have the most impact. When this person ran out of gas in the middle of the road, hopeless and stuck, someone came to the rescue. Much love. These police officers went above and beyond doing more than what's required of them supporting their fellow officer's son. The officer sadly passed away, but I know these guys are always going to be there for this guy. This Ukrainian nurse dances on her wedding day after losing her legs due to landmine.
This right here is the definition of courteous and kindness. This neighbor decided to shovel his neighbor's doorstep after a snowstorm. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you Happy birthday to Graham Happy birthday to you Thank you Cool. And anytime I can use the grace of God to make somebody happy. Love the people who go above and beyond to care for the animals. Even animals know the importance of supporting one another. Often it don't really require much effort, just a few seconds or a few minutes of our day to look out for someone else. Apart from motivating you guys to always stay kind, it is also important for me to motivate you guys to never give up on your dreams and aspirations because life can be very, very tough. This woman who unfortunately lost a leg is more motivated than ever, running long marathons. This amputee runner is making history, breaking records, while raising funds for amputee blaze runners. In every stride, Jackie reached another milestone many say it was never possible. Jackie is the first woman to run 102 marathons in 102 straight days. You know it's going to hurt, but you kind of just, yeah, just push yourself and keep um, just going for it. Jackie runs about 26.2 miles a day around her city in Arizona and also in the gym and on marathon. She ran a combined 2,600 miles. The motivation for Jackie is to inspire other athletes with disabilities to push harder despite their limits. I was just like, it would be really cool if someone with a prosthetic could actually break it and show the world what you can be, what you're capable of. What's surprising is that originally Jackie wasn't crazy about sports or about running until she lost her lower left leg due to cancer in 2001. Before my amputation, I was never a runner and I kind of wanted to test it and see and I fell in love with it um, and ever since then I've just been pushing boundaries. Now she's been running for about 16 years. Her passion for running is recognized by many media outlets around the world. It has given Jackie a platform to help other amputees who also want to achieve their goals. I'm raising money for amputee blade runners who provide amputees with running blades. And why I wanted to support because running blades are really expensive. Thanks to her, now about $40,000 is raised. The amount of people that reached out to me and saying, I've run the most miles I've ever done because I've been watching your journey. It's just been phenomenal. She is honestly a true hero and she really inspired me a lot. Every day, a step at a time, take a deep breath and let yourself deal with what you need to deal with and it's okay. But just hold on to hope. Much love and respect for these Pepsi drink workers who stopped everything they were doing to help save the pigeon. This young man ran straight to his mother after making the play to win the football game. Much love and respect to all moms out there, man. We could never thank you guys enough. And happy Mother's Day. We appreciate you. They are all soldiers around the world who sacrifice their life to serve and protect the people. We can never thank you enough. You are real heroes. 
my friends and family if you made it up to this point in this video you are a true legend i want to take this time really to thank you so much for the privilege of your time honestly it really means a lot and thank you so much for constantly supporting and commenting very kind words you know these videos actually really take a lot of time to put together but you guys continue to inspire me and you guys really enjoy it if you haven't yet subscribed be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out when i upload next time comment what you think about this video in your favorite part and please give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to support my merch the link will be below Thank you so much once again and as always i'll see you on the next video peace